இன்னொரு சிக்கன் பிரியாணி சொல்லாமா இவ்வளோ பிரிங் மட்டுமே சொல்றா நான் ஒரு சமோசா எனக்கு மட்டும் நான் கெச்சு போட்டுக்கணும் நான் காதல் கமிங் காலிங் அமைக்கீங்களா Hey, I was thinking about her. ஏய் ஏய் யூ திங்க் ஐ கேன் நாட் கேரி மை பேக் ஐ திங்க் ஐ யுவர் பேக் ஓகே கிவ் இட் அப் தம்பி தம்பி அந்த வாட்டர் பாட்டில் தம்பி You all discuss about aldosterone and count the number of hours in the next class on concept. Monica, shall we discuss about aldosterone? Sorry, okay. Aldosterone is the main melocorticoid hormone. It is secreted from zona glomerulosa of adrenal cortex. It regulates blood pressure by maintaining sodium and potassium level. Daily secretion amount is 3 to 25 mg. It is a water insoluble hormone. It is synthesized from cholesterol. Okay, okay. Okay, then what about RAS? Oh, that's actually renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system. Renin, which is released primarily by the kidneys, stimulates the formation of angiotensin and renin tissue, which stimulates the secretion of aldosterone in adrenal cortex. This aldosterone increases NA plus reabsorption from renal tubules and increases K plus excretion from renal tubules. Okay, one second. I'll go to the restroom. So what about applied physiology? Uh, applied physiology is associated with aldosterone two types. One is hypersecretion, one more is hyposecretion. Hypersecretion there are two types, primary and secondary. In primary it is Kahn syndrome and secondary it is Bantas syndrome. For Bantas syndrome there is increased renin production associated with congenital heart diseases, cirrhosis of liver and there are some nephrotic problems also. In hypersecretion there is decreased aldosterone production and there is uh, decreased renin secretion along with uh, nervous problems. Good answer. Okay guys, let's go to the mall fight. it can either be due to the adrenal gla- gland being over active and because of that it produces too much aldosterone or it can be due to a tumor in the adren- adrenal gland which is benign or it can be due to bilateral adrenal hyperplasia which is basically um, an abnormal growth on the adrenal gland causing it to produce too much of the hormone mm-hmm. apart from this it can also be due to genetic reasons and the patient can have a family history of con syndrome mm-hmm. so the symptoms of con syndrome are high bp frequent urination excessive thirst heart palpitations muscle weakness or cramps fatigue nausea and visual disturbances ஹலோ மேடம் ஃப்ரீக்வெண்ட் 
trembling trembling sandhi may have corn syndrome cha 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 ஒன் <laughs> <laughs> Antihypertensive medications other than diuretics should always be withdrawn for at least 4 weeks before these tests. A report on this thing? Ah, I'm going to doctor. The potassium level is a little bit less. The aldosterone level is a little bit less. That's why the CT scan is very important. You can see the outgrowth. That's why I'm going to ask you what the problem is. The increased aldosterone potentiate renal sodium reabsorption, potassium excretion and water retention. The resultant plasma volume expansion is the primary initiating mechanism for hypertension. This may induce tissue inflammation and fibrosis in heart, kidney and vasculature leading to the development of chronic kidney disease, arterial fibrillation, stroke, ischemic heart disease and congestive heart failure. Patient develops hypokalemia which inhibits insulin secretion leading to impaired glucose. glucose tolerance and metabolic alkalosis is also seen when aldosterone is produced autonomously and inappropriately by one or both adrenal glands normal negative feedback mechanism leads to profound suppression of renin idanal neenga perusa kavala padatha valla ipo na specialist kitta adha patti ketta avanga enna sonnanga idu vandu initial stages dhaan so adanal ipo idhu conservative ah medicines kudutha avanga seri aayidum appdi sonnanga rest neenga next time varum bodhu paathukanga ah depending upon the patient's progress when he comes for review the decision regarding the surgery will be taken later laparoscopic adrenalectomy is recommended for patients with unilateral adenoma mineralocorticoid receptor antagonists like spironolactone and eplerenone are suggested for patients with bilateral adenoma this is also an alternative for surgery oh this is con syndrome not love symptom ah